Hi there, my name is Mike Schlosser. This presentation demonstrates how you can query your AutoCAD drawings in much the same way that a spreadsheet or database can be queried. We can use this capability to create new drawings and otherwise reveal new patterns in the data. We can find specific CAD features by location and their properties. And we can even generate material lists and reports. For example, Let's consider a municipal water main program in which cast iron water mains are scheduled for replacement. The AutoCAD drawing containing information about the water main network must be analyzed to determine the location of the cast iron water mains, as well as their corresponding lengths and diameters. Let's see how this is done. Here we are in AutoCAD Map 3D 2010. You can see an outline of our municipal boundary and the first thing that we want to do is attach to the drawing file containing our water main networks. We do this by clicking on the Map Explorer tab and then looking for the data icon. In the data icon we can see the Attach Source Drawings option. Now this is different than opening up a drawing the way we would do it in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD Map, by attaching to the drawing, we're actually connecting to the data, allowing multiple people, multiple users, to access the same drawing simultaneously. So here I'm just navigating to my water main drawing and attaching that to my current drawing. At this point, I can query my water main drawing based on location, an AutoCAD property, or some other data that might be attached to that drawing. In order to do a location condition, I can specify what kind of location condition. For example, I might want to draw a window around a certain area, or draw a polygon around a certain area and retrieve only those CAD entities that fall within that area. In our case, we're just going to retrieve everything, so we're going to use the default all. We also have the option of specifying a query mode. I've currently got the preview query mode selected, but we also have the ability to draw and report. Now, the preview query mode is a quick way of retrieving the entities in our drawing. Notice how I drag my cursor across and you get that flickering. Well, that is a real indicator of the fact that we're in preview mode. Those entities are not actually part of the drawing. As a matter of fact, if we do a redraw, those entities that we just retrieved will disappear. Let's go back into our query again and let's modify that so that we can identify just the cast iron water mains. We're, we can select based on properties such as color or block name. We're going to choose layer and find all of the lines on a layer called cast iron. This is how we identify our cast iron water mains. Now you can see our condition it says retrieve everything in our water main drawing that has a layer value of cast iron and now we click on draw. We execute the query and we now see our water mains in the drawing. As a matter of fact, if we were to do a redraw, those water mains would actually stay in the drawing because they're now part of our drawing. Now let's create a report of those water mains so that we know what di their diameters and lengths are. A report can be based on CAD properties or the data that's actually attached to our water main lines. In this case we have pipe size diameter attached to our water main lines. So we'll choose pipe size and add that to our report. That will contain all of the diameters. Now we want the length. The length happens to be a CAD property. So we navigate to our length property, select that, and add that to our report. So our report will have two values, diameters and lengths for each cast iron water main selected. At this point, we simply specify the name of the text file containing our values. Let's call it cast iron water main and let's give it an indicator of diameter and length so that we know what we're dealing with. We'll save that, tell it to go ahead and execute our report query. 
Now we give AutoCAD Map 3D a few moments to create that text file and then we can analyze that text file using something like Microsoft Excel. So here we are in Microsoft Excel. We've brought in this simple text file. Let's add a header to this. We'll just call that diameter and this length. And in order for us to get the total length of pipe, we can simply navigate to the bottom of our lengths here and use the summation tool in Microsoft Excel. And very quickly we can see that we have a total length of 372,000 some odd units. Now it would be a lot more useful to us if we knew how much 6 inch pipe, how much 8 inch pipe and so on that we needed for a replacement program. The way we do this is through a simple pivot table. We go to the insert tab, select pivot, and at this point we specify the range of all the values we want to include in our pivot table. So I go to the bottom of the list and select all of those fields, those cells. So that goes from A1 to B2261. We also specify the location of our pivot table and we simply select that cell and now that location is identified. Okay, now let's make sure we choose the diameter and the length. We make sure that the diameter is set to the horizontal axis and just like that we've created a simple pivot table and pivot chart identifying each of those values that we have in place. All right, let's uh, do some uh, simple formatting here. For example, we can change the number of decimal places. We can add a comma, things like that. So that's a little bit more readable. As well, we can modify the appearance of this chart. Let's go in and go to the Layout tab and set the horizontal axis so that we know that we're dealing with these as pipe diameters. Like so. And let's do the same thing for the vertical axis. Here it's set to length. And now we give a more descriptive title to our chart. So in our case, this is going to be cast iron pipe length. Let's add that versus diameter. And there we have it. Simple as that. We've created a map that shows us where the cast iron water mains are as well we've created a table and a chart that shows us the quantities of pipe needed for each diameter. In summary then we use the attach feature in AutoCAD Map 3D to connect to our CAD drawing rather than simply opening the drawing file as we would in AutoCAD. This gave us the ability to use queries to filter drawings by their CAD properties, object data, location, and more. It also gave us the ability to generate reports and otherwise reveal new patterns in the data. Furthermore, because AutoCAD Map 3D is built on AutoCAD, you can make the most of your existing AutoCAD expertise. For more information, please visit www.autodesk.com.